Hi guys, this is Lena at GradeLink again. Thanks for joining me in the financial section. This is video 20, and in this video I want to show you the lunch billing report. Uh, in order to run the lunch billing report, you want to be in your financial section. You want to have the reports tab selected along the top of the page. And then I would just choose my lunch billing as the report to run. I would select the school year that I'm interested in and then you guys are familiar with this by now you would choose the uh, billing cycles that you'd like to include on the lunch billing report I of course could choose a custom date range if I want a specific date then I would select which students I want to run this report for and there's the all students student filter or family filter now Typically speaking, for the lunch billing report, you would want to run it for all students. The reason for that is if you're just trying to generate a receipt for a family as to how many lunches they've purchased, you might want to just give them a receipt. Or if you're trying to present them with a bill of how much money they owe for lunches, you would want to generate a statement for the family in that case. Uh, but the lunch billing report is helpful for giving you a total as to how many uh, lunches have been ordered over a period of time. You could do it for a particular student if you wanted or you could do it school-wide. Then you would just click the run refresh report button in gray and immediately I see the report pull up here. My students are listed in uh, these horizontal rows and I can even see who's on a reduced fee uh, and I can see the uh, total number of the particular lunch option that they ordered over this date range and then I can see my lunch option 2 over here the total number that they've ordered and then the amount column is uh, the, the total amount of money for that number of lunches and then at the bottom of the page I see my totals so I see school-wide how much uh, lunch is costing me over this entire date range and I can see the uh, school-wide cost of these particular items here at the bottom of the page. If I want to export this, I could send it to Excel, PDF, or Word and print from there. And that is the lunch billing report. Thanks for joining me, guys. Stay tuned for the next video.